we better get us a ticket so we can get that tree. We have a weather pattern that isn't exactly like I thought it was going to be last night. If you were with me, I gave you a forecast. The temperatures kind of were close for today, but I had a part of cloud to start. They're mostly sunny, they're mostly sunny, and I didn't see any of that today. And there's a reason for it. There was an upper level low, and it's still way up here now in, in eastern Canada. But I had figured that low was going to go more to the northeast, and then our low was going to come in kind of east, uh, east northeast, and then curl to the northeast, and that would take the moisture out with it, that wraparound moisture. Well, what happened was the low up here moved more toward the Hudson Bay area, got into Quebec. When it did, the flow pattern was like this. So when our low started out, it kind of got hung up in here, and instead of moving to the northeast, it uh, dropped a little bit east-southeast, and that counterclockwise circulation was too close to the Gulf moisture. It rolled it right back into Texas. So we lived under a cloud deck all day, and also when that uh, trough of low pressure elongated back to the southwest, we formed a little circulation back in the Permian Basin, so we ended up with a tighter pressure gradient. We had the gusty northwest winds today and a lot of cloud cover. We are cloud clearing now. As the clouds move out now, we're going to radiationally cool. The winds are dying down, so I think that'll drop the temperature down close to the dew point. So we could, uh, oh, I'd say 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, form a little fog. And then we hit our minimum temperature tomorrow morning, 28 to 31. We should be able to convert that moisture to some frost. So I kind of think we'll do that as we move through the night. Temperatures now, you're starting to see some pretty good cool down to the northwest where the skies have opened up. A lot of us still in the 40s, but overnight tonight, upper 20s, low 30s, middle 30s further to the east. And sustained winds starting to die down. They're from the northwest now at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We have just a couple of areas. Well, in fact, they're dying down. I had a couple of uh, wind gusts reported a little bit earlier. So we'll start in the morning cold. Might see a little frost and fog. Keep that in mind. It won't last very long. We're going to take it up to 57. The winds will gradually die down. 35 to start Saturday and 61, pretty nice number. Winds will go back to the west and then northwest and then they'll kick to the north and get gusty. Another surge of cool air comes down, 37, 57. We drop that high temperature even with uh, some decreasing clouds. 35 and 59, the winds get light on us. We cool a bit at night. The winds go back to west a little bit, so up goes the temperatures, 36 and 65. By Wednesday, we're going to flirt with 70, I think low 70s, by Thursday. So that's the way it shapes up for you.